I've travelled to a secret location in West Sussex to investigate the world of some of our most elusive mammals, bats. There are 18 recorded resident species of bat in the UK, with 17 of these being breeding populations. There are some facing severe declines, but others seem to be on the increase with range expansion, including one I'm hoping to find today. I'm meeting with ecologist Nick Gray, who has been surveying the bats here for a number of years. So why have we come to this site specifically today? Why is it so important? Well, this, this is a form of disused railway tunnel, um, and it's one of a set in this locality. And collectively, they probably represent one of the most significant bat roosts in the country. Uh, and this is particularly important for the greater horseshoe bat, uh, which we've always had one or two, um, but then uh, within the last three or four years, those numbers have increased. That's brilliant. And is it kind of a recovery thing? Is there a reason why those numbers are going up? Locally, we have discovered uh, another site which is a maternity site for those bats, which is particularly exciting because it's the first time we've had breeding greater horseshoe bats in the southeast of England for over 100 years. It's early spring, so they won't be in the maternity roost yet. But Nick is taking me to one of the disused railway tunnels which the bats are visiting. We've obtained special licenses to be able to enter. So it's face masks on to protect the bats. And a switch to infrared to minimise any possible disturbance. Red light on. Red light's on. Okay. Let's, Let's go. head in. These boards were hung in here to provide extra features for the bats to use. supposed to look at these? Well, everyone has their own technique. Do they? That, that's not one I think I've seen before. <laughs> but there, there are other ways. Or the easier way is to, to take a mirror and, uh, and have a look there. So if you shine the light into the mirror, you can project right. it up behind it. Well, that makes a lot more sense. I feel a bit silly now. It's doing some sort of exorcist yoga. <laughs> They're much easier. Although, sadly, no bats under this one. Let's continue on. Greater horseshoe bats are some of the largest bats we have in the UK, with this characteristic nose that gives them their name. Traditionally known as cave dwellers, the tunnels here provide the perfect roosting conditions for them as they expand their range from the southwest. It's quite surreal to be kind of out of your element in the pitch black, but looking for an animal that's entirely in theirs, and there's something quite nice about that. Well, I just found a greater horseshoe bat, just one, but it's quite important that we talk quietly. We don't want to disturb it, so if we've just well, what's up with the red light? You can see it just in the fold. What they look like is that when people ask me to describe them, they look like a small pair. Yes, they do. And, and in fact, there's another species. The lesser horseshoe is a slightly yeah. smaller one, and that looks like a plum. A <laughs> plum and a pair. Yeah. I like that. Nick believes that some of the bats here were born at a nearby maternity roost, making them some of the very first West Sussex greater horseshoe bats in around a century. It's incredibly exciting to think that they could be amongst the first bats to be born in the county. They're such amazing bats, but they're very easily disturbed, so I think we'll withdraw now. Sure. Come on. 
to see with my mask on, but I've got a really big smile on my face. <laughs> wow, what an amazing find. I can't tell you how happy I was that we actually managed to find some. I was so excited. And of course, it's important to say that these animals are still rare, even though in their core habitats, numbers have doubled in the last 20 years. A really good news story.